Hello, how are you? So in this video I'm going to show you how to get the best quality possible in your edits, whether on INSTagram or YouTube. Well, here I have a pretty random clip, but let's assume it would be my entire edit. So, I usually select the entire edit and give it a pre-composition. So it looks like this. After that, I just add two adjustment layers, the first one would be color correction, and the other would be my quality setting. When I put some color correction, I usually put some preset ready and the only thing I change is the pop. In the first option, I put it in 50 and in the second, 100 between 100 and 50. Adjust the color using the curves effect. Now what I do is, select the second layer and add these effects that are on the canvas. Well, as you can see, the video will have these blurry edges. This is simple to solve, just click on the clip layer and press S of scale. After 100 you will put it in 101 or 102, they disappear. Put the effect RSMB, and follow me. Great, we've finished the quality setting part, it's always important to remember that your composition should be in 1080p, it doesn't make much difference for INSTagram, but now for YouTube it does, because YouTube uses two different codecs, I'll show you one example for you to understand. So. I have two edits of mine here. One of them is in 4K and the other in 1080p as you can see. Now you can probably already see a difference between these two. One means more cleaner, and the other more dirty. This is because YouTube uses two codecs. Just right click on the video and go to statistics for nerds, you can see that the last option will have the video codec, this AVC one is used with full HD videos, and the VP09 codec is used for videos from 1440p up to 8k, so this is the best codec because you use a higher resolution. You basically force YouTube to use the best codec, so it's a tip if you want to post on YouTube. Render your videos in 1440p up to 8K, but if you want to post only on INSTagram, you can render in 1080p. Ok, now let's go to the rendering part. In the upper left corner click on the composition option and then go to add to render queue. I usually like render my edits in QuickTime or AVI format, but that's your preference, but I recommend you render in QuickTime, after that just choose the rendering location and that's it. Just click render. The tutorial ends here. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like it. Bye.